This is the 2014 Rabalo R300 center console. And let's go ahead and walk you up starboard. And here's as good a shot of the aft as we're gonna get. Give you a good shot of these trim tabs. Also, you see the props and skegs down there. And here's going down the port. And let's give you a shot of the bottom of this hull, just a rich blue color. And it's been kept on this lift its entire life. And let's start here in the aft. You'll see these twin Yamaha 304 strokes. And then you'll see a swim platform on each side. And then there is a swim ladder here on the starboard. And that'll bring us in through our cockpit door. And if I back up into our actual cockpit. And you'll see there's just plenty of room to move about here. But if you wanted a little more seating provided. And here's a good look with the aft seating in place. And now with the seat back up, if I just come down here and I lift up here. And here's a good look at this aft compartment. And you'll see, I just love the thinking here. You'll see easy access to your battery switches. You'll see your batteries up out of the bilge. And then you'll see your battery charger. I just think this is great thinking by Roballo to make it so accessible. And let's start opening up some of these hatches. Here on the starboard in the aft, you're gonna see a fish box and there's a matching one on the port side, just very large. And moving to the center, That'll give you a good view of the bilge with your pumps and aft workings. And there on port side, as well as starboard, you'll see rod storage. And it's a good time to just mention there is just an abundant number of rod holders, rod storage on this boat. Everywhere you look, you see rod holders or rod storage. And here in the port aft corner, lift up and you've got a live well. And that brings us to our tackle center. Let me go ahead and open up some of these compartments. On the top row, you'll see compartments. If we lift up this seat, you'll see a cutting board. You'll see a sink underneath. And pick up the starboard seat and you'll see a live well. And here's a good shot of this wide hard top from the aft. And you'll see your rocket launchers, outriggers, spreaders, just a really nice hard top. And then if I walk forward, you'll see your captain and first mate seat with bolsters. And let's start here at the top. You'll see switches up above. You'll see twin speakers up there. Come on down and you got a Ritchie compass. And then if I move down, you'll see your twin Garmin GPS map 7212s. And right now you'll see on this one, we have the GPS displayed and we have the sonar on this one. Then in the center there, you'll see your Yamaha gauges down below your Garmin VHF. And then moving below, you'll see your helm stereo controls, your trim tabs, and all your switches. And then as we move on from the helm, you're going to see lockable rod storage on both sides. You can see it on starboard. If I move over here, you're going to see it on port. And then as I come over to the side of the console and I open up, you have your marine head. Rivalo just puts a very large marine head in a 30-foot center console. If you look, there's plenty of room to change. And then you'll see down below your stereo controls, sink, and just plenty of room for storage. And moving forward, that brings us up to the bow. And right now we have the bow set up for cruising. Actually, we have the centerpiece in there, so it turns the front into a giant sun pad. But you can even remove that centerpiece and set up a table and just have an abundance of seating in the bow. Or you can strip off all the cushions for a day of fishing. And here's a good look at the seating in front of the center console. And if I go ahead and lift up on this seat, you'll see just a big cooler underneath. And now if I just go ahead and reach under this seat, I can lift up, show you the fish box storage, and that's on both sides. And I just love the fact that Roballo allows you to access this, even with the sun pad cushions in. And then moving up to the bow, you'll see your windlass, and then you'll see your pedal controls. And here's a good shot of this hard top from the bow. And now's the time of the video where I give a condition report and I name opportunities for the new owner to improve this boat. And let's start with the condition. Uh, this is the original owner. He bought the boat new and he's always kept it stored here on the lift. Um, and looking around, the boat seems to be in very nice condition. Uh, he's always had it serviced 
by the Roballo dealer who sold him the boat. And I would guess the video is probably showing. And uh, as I look around here live, I think the boat shows really nice. It seems really well cared for. It's always been lift capped. Um, the fiberglass shows well. The hull looks great. I love the blue on the bottom. Um, the vinyl seems good. I mean, there's places where you can see the wear. Um, it certainly is outfitted the way most people would like. It's got the full fishing package um, everywhere you look. Uh, it's got the tackle station. It's got all the rod holders. It's got the rod storage. It's got the live wells. It's got the fish boxes. I mean, just a really nice fishing package. But one of the things that really impressed me about it is the way that Roballo really built this boat to cruise and fish. I mean, you pop the aft seat down. You've got aft face seating right here, first mate and captain, and then a ton of seating in the bow. So it really looks like it can both fish and cruise very well in terms of opportunities for the new owners to improve this boat uh, these owners report that the radar is not working uh, they never used the radar from the time they bought it and when one time they went to run it it wasn't running and they never repaired it because they just don't use radar but the buyer would want to know that the radar is not functioning currently in terms of where that might need to be addressed the only thing i see on the vinyl that looks like it could use service immediately as you'll see right there there's a split in the seam on the vinyl on the seat in front of the console and you'll see you know what i would describe as normal wear on a seven-year-old center console where you might see a little bit of a stain on a seat or on a bolster but looking around the boat shows very well and i think it would be considered light wear on a 30 offshore center console that's seven years old Overall, I think this Roballo R300 really shows well. I mean, it's a lift cap one owner boat and uh, it seems to be outfitted to cruise as equally well as fish and seems to be ready for spring and summer fun.